This is our defensive zone. Uh, we try to be aggressive. We try to put pressure on their guys, which makes us skating all around, chasing people. We end up in the corner. Um, in our D zone, we're losing all those battles, which open up area for them, and they beat us on the way into the net. This time we get saved, but it's the kind of mentality in the defensive zone that I expected, or maybe I was a little bit naive when I came here. I, I thought that this is an easy thing to solve, but that's not what they are used to. So uh, we change a little bit. The Swedish mentality is more of a system. We trust each other and we uh, need each other in another way. It feels like the Swiss mentality is that you're on your own, and I say it in a, in a, in a good way, in a beautiful way. Take care of yourself, handle yourself, put the oxygen mask on yourself before you help someone else. In Sweden we always think that someone else will save our ass if it's necessary. We simplified, we made it more easy, and geduld is a word that I get to learn together with raclette and, and uh, fondue was the first word they told me. But, but geduld for me means that we have to be smart enough to keep them on the outside, don't work too hard, too wrong. Uh, we need to do it smart and to do it simple. So uh, what we change is to be a little bit more patient or geduld. We talk about playing close on our opponent. Don't give them the time to do anything. Uh, in the defensive zone, more of geduld. In the offensive zone, play closer. Follow your guy, put pressure, finish your guy. And this is from a game in, in Kloten, the last game we played before the international break. And as we see on this clip, uh, we work hard. We do have a third guy in the mill in a smart position. Here our demon put pressure on them, which means we win the puck. And from here Jerome Lance can actually pick up that puck and score from it. So I tried to make those changes and we tried to implement it. We had a good discussion with the players and I could see something in their eyes.